Hi, my name's Phil and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can turn this into this. And all you need is one of these. So stick around to find out more. Okay, so uh, before you ever get to the stage where you're actually going to be washing these bottles and removing the labels, you've got to prepare them. And that's actually the fun part. So you're going to be drinking the beer, but after you have each beer, make sure you just rinse it out. Um, otherwise, you're going to get some uh, sort of funky uh, uh, gunk or something at the bottom of the bottle. And it's going to be much more difficult to clean and to uh, actually uh, remove the labels later. So I moved apartments recently and um, I've been collecting these bottles up over a couple of months. Uh, in fact, I don't actually drink beer out of bottles very often. Uh, if I do uh, buy a beer, it's, it's normally in a can. It's just the way that things are done here in Taiwan. Um, so I, I've been collecting these over a couple of months and we moved apartments. And the removal guy uh, was asking my wife, why exactly am I moving empty bottles? And because here in Taiwan, until fairly recently, it was illegal to make alcohol, um, she, she's not really sure what the law is now. And uh, she said to this guy, oh, my husband collects beer bottles. So she made me sound like I was a proper weirdo. Um, but yeah, so you just got to collect up these bottles over time and then uh, you'll just use them for the next time you have a, a brew day. Uh, so what I did here is I just filled up a bath, uh, you could use any big container and uh, it's full of hot water with a little bit of soap in it. Uh, initially I wanted to stand the bottles up because I thought uh, I might not get all 55 bottles into this bath. Uh, it's kind of quite a small bath because uh, here in Taiwan uh, for some reason that they have tiny baths which is a bit annoying. But in fact um, I was able to lay all the bottles down and this way I didn't have to use so much water so I didn't have to wait as long for the bath to fill up. Uh, so you, you're just going to leave them there for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, and that should give the glue uh, enough time to sort of um, heat up and uh, for the labels to come away from the bottle a little bit. And then this is uh, the difficult part, you're actually going to have to uh, put some effort into this and uh, actually scrub those bottles away. Uh, those labels away I should say. Um, some of the labels will come away just out of the water. It really depends on the type of bottle and I even found that uh, different labels on the same bottle seem to have different kind of uh, maybe they used different glue or it was stuck on to a different degree. Um, so I used a wire wall or you can use some sort of metal scourer brush um, and as long as you get the right angle and put the right pressure, uh, these labels seem to come off pretty quickly. And um, it wasn't too difficult for the first 10 or 15. But of course, after that, your muscles start to get a little bit tired. Um, so yeah, it might take you a little bit longer for the uh, the other 20 or 30 bottles that you're you're trying to remove the labels from. So I managed to do about 55 bottles in just under an hour. And I have to admit, it was a lot slower uh, for the second half. So if you've got a friend or a spouse, someone that you can sort of tag in, then you might be able to do this much more quickly. Uh, also, this is an excellent task for any teenagers who, who want to get paid their allowance. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the backside, but it's, it's something that's worth doing, I think. Some of the tips um, I would give you after, after doing this, um, so I actually removed the water just for filming purposes so that it was easier to see uh, the bottles sort of uh, being taken away over time. But in fact, um, I would leave the water in because the last sort of 10 bottles, they seem to dry out a little bit. So they were much more difficult to, to remove the labels from. So if you are going to do this, make sure you leave the water in until you've finished every single bottle. Also, um, you might want to consider wearing protective gloves. I mean, this is not going to uh, sort of, it's not toxic or anything like that, but uh, your fingers are going to prune up because you've got your hands in hot water for about an hour. And also with all the friction of um, rubbing the, the bottles with the, that wire wall, um, you're just going to get a little bit of irritation in your fingers. So definitely wear some gloves and uh, you won't suffer as much as I did when I was doing this today. 
Uh, another good thing is um, have some good music or a podcast or something or someone to chat to because this is really, really boring and uh, if you don't have something to occupy your mind, you're just going to go a little bit crazy after about half an hour. So the question really is, uh, why do this? Um, you can, of course, buy bottles without labels on, labels on from Amazon or something like that. Well, I suppose the the major thing is is it's cheaper. Um, you know, you, you're enjoying the beer and then you're recycling the bottles. It's also good for the environment. You're not, um, you know, putting too much demand on making more bottles just to uh, to put your beer back in it. Um, I also think. Once you've done this with 50 bottles or so for a regular brewer, you're just going to reuse them. Even if you put your own labels on, you can put labels that are temporary labels that you don't actually actually stick on to the bottles. So, yeah, you do it once and you can reuse all those um, bottles again and again. Uh, it's also going to give you that opportunity to get a little bit creative by making your own beer labels. Um, so you kind of want to show off a little bit, um, you know, friends and family to show them you're making your own beer and it's a good way to get creative. Another thing with your friends is if you, um, if you invite them over and you're serving your own beer uh, in a beer with another label, it's a bit confusing and they might not quite understand that you've made the beer. They might just think you bought it. So it's all a question of ego, I suppose you could say. Um, and also, I think just as a brewer, it's one of the experiences. Uh, a lot of us will move away from bottle conditioning, but you've got to experience it a little bit, you know, at least once, experience it at least once, and, uh, you know, it's all part of the fun. So the best technique that I dis discovered for removing the labels is to take a firm grip of the neck of the bottle and to get a bit of a 30-degree angle uh, with the scouring brush. And it's a bit like a, a saw, I don't know, if you were ever a, a Boy Scout, but you want to use the entire length of the brush, um, and that way you're going to remove the the label much more uh, quickly and more smoothly. And once you've removed the front and back label doing this, um, you just want to grab the other end of the bottle and uh, remove the neck label as well. I was also um, rinsing the the bottles after. You might want to use another cloth. And uh, just make sure you have water available because at this stage I'd removed all the water and uh, that brush was getting a little bit dry and you can see that the paper was sticking to it and it wasn't as easy as it was with the first bottle. Okay, so after all that work I've now got myself 50 bottles that are ready for the next stage. So I've got a um, another batch that I'm going to be bottle conditioning in the next couple of days. So all I'm going to have to do now is just to um, give these uh, bottles another rinse to sanitize them and they'll be ready to go for some bottle conditioning. Um, and yeah, it, it took a lot of work but I think this is um, well worth it and I feel a little bit good about myself uh, not just uh, spending more money and producing more waste for the planet. So why not head over to my website at beercreation.com where I've written a lot of articles on questions that I had um, and probably the same questions that you have as a brewer. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way when I uh, come up with a new video you're not going to miss out. So thanks very much for watching and uh, if you have any questions leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. So see you again.